Mississippi, Special Conference, Subcommission 1. Honorable Chair, fellow delegates, this resolution lacks in practicality and accuracy. Clause 1. How is this even possible? Funded by the state and directed by independent representatives? If it's supposed to be directed by independent representatives, then the funding might as well be provided by those representatives. And if it's supposed to be fund, uh, funded by the state, then what's the role of independent representatives there? Clause 2. What would we do in the case of an authoritarian government? Would, would an authoritarian government allow for the occupation of the directorate of those agencies, agencies with persons elected by the government and the public? Clause 3. Who would actually um, finance this? This is very important because it's a very um, critical issue in most resolutions. People, yes, they call for financing, but they do not specify who will finance it. And then when it comes to the impl implementation of these projects, everything will be stuck because there is nobody to finance, especially considering the financial crisis. Uh, in Clause 4, this can easily lead to the over-representation of like, very unpopular parties. For example, parties from extreme right and extreme left who get only 0.07% of the country's votes. The delegate can continue criticizing this resolution by referring to Clause 11. Request strict dis disciplinary action against a buildup of cartels and an official co collaboration which creates high barriers of entry into the market in order to establish a truly pluralistic and competitive system. We think that there was a mistake in the typing of this resolution because this is not in any way related to the resolution. So I think this was supposed to be put in another resolution. The delegate can continue criticizing this resolution, but um, in, because we're on the time country, 